Hello, welcome back to Solaris with the Barbaric Necrophages. Have the Necrophages made Barbaric Spoilers actually decent? Ugh, let's find out. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, on my secondary planet here, my primary species isn't particularly happy. Also, for some reason, even though there's a free job spot, they're not taking it. Oh, I know why. There we go. Fix it. Interesting that... Because I don't think I set that job to be higher priority, but whatever. See, I'm just going to ignore the war, to be honest. Uh, but I'm going to make sure that we're actually raiding. Yeah, looks like it. Yep, raiding bombardment sense. Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave them there. I don't know what like the requirements to actually start raiding them are, but hey, I want free pops. And I'm going to be honest, I've pretty much already won the war. And honestly, just the ticking exhaustion is going to win me the war eventually, so. Spaceport is what? It's only got a spaceport. I don't know. I wasn't listening. Oh, this is the enemy fleet, though. It's shit. I don't have to worry about it, to be honest. Hey, we got our first pop from abducting. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, ooh, I don't have any more edicts, annoyingly. Can I do anything on my planet with influence? Nothing that I want to do, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, that's one problem with making the edicts uh, permanent once you turn them on. What the hell do you do with your, like, your rest of your influence? I mean, I guess claim space. I can still do a lot of that, so let's do that. Yeah, I'm just going to sit in this war and just keep raiding their one planet. Speaking of which, actually, what is their one planet? Uh, it probably easier to do this. It's a, uh, it's a Savannah world. Oh, you coward. Damn it. <laughs> they knew what I was trying to do. Oh, well. I got one slave, at least. It's not bad. Uh, extra research. Yes, please. Uh, sh it's a shame. They, they knew what I was trying to do. Oh, well. At least I got one pop that's infinitely more than I got in the other war. <laughs> well, actually, no. I guess I got a whole planet, so it's not like I completely failed in the other war. That's what I just get. I don't know. I don't know if that was a faction event or not. I just clicked past it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I should probably just push towards claiming the choke point here. I don't want this guy to have a uh, advantage over me when it comes to choke points. So, I'll let him. Simple as that. Uh, I just have one more enemy I can go and attack. Problem is, though, he's in a federation, and even though his allies are crap, uh, that's still more ships than I could potentially handle, so it might not be a good idea to attack them just yet. Although breaking up that federation does sound kind of fun. Oh, uh, didn't I unlock destroyers? No, not yet. I'm about to, though. Excellent. Let's get destroyer hull points. Very nice. And let's grab, uh, or not grab, let's make a destroyer template that is not shit. <laughs> Honestly, most of my enemies are probably going to be fighting with just, yeah, they're just, just, they're just mostly going to be fighting me with the, uh, they're going to be fighting me with Corvettes still, so I think something like this, and then, which one do I want to prioritize, lasers or... Coil gun. Actually, which one is more accurate, actually? Because a medium gun is going to have a harder time hitting Corvettes. Yeah, their tracking is reduced, so... Let's see, 30% tracking versus 30% tracking. Well, that doesn't help me. Damn it. I guess I'll do the laser. Um... Yeah, I'll do the laser just because the laser has higher accuracy overall. Even if it has lower... Uh, e even if it does have lower uh, tracking as well, it just has higher accuracy just overall. All right, the Contagion? Actually, I kind of like that name. The name's fucking awesome. And yeah, that's all set up. Don't want to change this. Don't want to make it artillery. Mm, probably. Uh, tracking 
I believe what tracking does is that it reduces the enemy's evasion bonus. Oops. Oh, damn it. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just call this the, uh. Hmm. Let's call this the, the, the fuck federations. Because this is probably going to be the ship that brings me to defeating their, their crap. Alright, let's see. I can probably start producing some of those. I, yeah, I probably don't want to keep producing Corvettes for the time being. I uh, go up to 33 fleet power. That's not bad. I do need to get better defenses, though. My ships are quite lacking on the defenses front. But our offense is pretty good, so... I don't know. Let's keep doing that. <laughs> Alright, I should be the one to claim all this area of space, so... I could probably just start doing anomalies and projects. Alright, the fleet is repaired. The destroyers are coming out. Very nice. Hmm. Another Hegemony Federation. So that means that actually the two weaker members are going to be even more weak than they would be under a regular federation type. Hmm. I need food. That's all good. Food and consumer goods. Yeah, crap. I need more planets. My capital alone is just not cutting it anymore. Well, I do have a another planet in the north somewhere. Yeah, size 25 continental. That would not be bad. Hmm. But as for the capital, hmm. yeah, I don't need more of that. How much? Okay, I'm producing 11 minerals in the capital. Oh, no, I'm actually producing 26.35. That's just showing me the the excess minerals. Right, right. You know, the artisans and metallurgists are consuming minerals. Uh, hmm. All right, let's grab another generator district and a farming district. I think I'd actually kind of prefer to have more mineral districts in my capital and maybe farm somewhere else, like on my second world here. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's actually a great idea because there's basically no mineral production on this planet. Although this planet does have extra energy credits. Uh, that's kind of annoying shit. Oh well. New contact. That is with another mega corporation. Well, fortunately for you, I'm slowly phasing out the fuck traders class. <laughs> Although it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. So with my two destroyers built, where does that leave me? Still equivalent. Hmm. I don't like seeing that. Although, what are these guys? Yeah, they are militarists. So if there's anybody who's going to be equal. In strength to me, it'll be them. Uh, although my crime is starting to get a little bit out of hand on the capital, but... I think if you have negotiated with a crime lord, crime doesn't matter as much. If I was it actually do... Cause negative events to occur on the planets, but the negative events are mostly reduced if you negotiate with the crime lord. Uh, let's see. And may reduce stability... Is called by having a large planetary population. It can be reduced by increasing pop happiness or employing enforcers. Actually, do negotiate with crime lord. Just remove all penalties from crime. It might do. I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Alright, there we go. The choke point should be mine. I do need to build a bureaucracy world somewhere, though. Actually, is there any other planets in my space that I can colonize? No. Uh, every other planet is too low, unfortunately. Alright, let's colonize this planet. Six Dawn. Sure. It's a pretty cool name. Another faction has found it. Alright, so we have the Supremacist faction. Or, wait, no. No, the Militarist faction. There we go. 
So they want me to be somebody's overlord and they want me to conquer planets, but other than that, they're happy. And actually, same thing with the authoritarian faction. They want me to make somebody my bitch. Okay. I mean, I'm keeping my factions nice and happy. That's very nice. Ooh, psionic theory. Fun. That's not really going to allow me to do much, though, is it? Oh, no, I can just take Mind Over Matter next. Cool. Am I really going to go down psionic? I'm not even a... I'm not even a spiritualist nation. That's very weird. Huh. <laughs> Although, then again, I suppose... Do I really need genetic engineering? Not really. Because I'm going to be turning all my less... I'm going to be turning all the lesser species into my species eventually. And do I need... I mean, I guess that would leave me with robots, then. Do I want robots? Not really. I kind of don't like the robot ascension. Uh, psionic is, I guess. Yeah. I quite like the psionic ascension. It's not like the robot ascension where I feel like it's just boring. Psionics at least have, like, fun stuff going on. People are claiming my systems. How stupid do you gotta be? I've got the finest fleet in the galaxy right now. You pricks. Hmm. There's only one way from this enemy to get into my territory. Actually, unless if they have access through them. Yeah, okay, do you have closed borders to your neighbor? No, you're refusing to close borders with everybody. Even me, even after I kicked your ass. Oh, no, no, they have their borders closed to me, never mind. Where does that say that, then? That was a good question, because I don't actually see that anywhere. Oh, wait. Okay, it only shows it to me, because I'm the only person they have closed borders to. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Eh? Oh. Uh, picking up another construction ship is not a bad idea. Because I am falling a wee bit behind on keeping all my space under uh, under ownership of me. Alright, let's see here. Yeah. The capital requires... Slave processing facility, perhaps? 5% slave pop resource outputs. That wouldn't be bad, but... The problem is... Uh, well, I suppose robots are slaves, right? Do they count as slaves? I don't know. Because they have servitude, but... Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Let's just ignore that for now, because I need other things anyways. I need... I'm running a bit low on amenities, but... I shouldn't be too big of a deal. I need civilian goods. That's all I need. Or research. One of the two. Let's grab civilian industries. Alright. Uh, okay. Good. We're colonizing that planet. We are upgrading that stuff. Good. I could look into building a fortification there, but... I'm going to be honest, I highly doubt these guys are going to attack me because they hate all their neighbors, so they're not going to be able to get anybody to attack with them. Hmm. Uh, someone game the Hegemon cast spell eye against me. Huh. I'd like to see you try, you scum. <laughs> hmm. No, I will not. I will not show my cowardice. If they have a cast belly against me, and I build a fortification on the border, that's just me admitting that I'm weak. No, the only wall I shall have is the wall of my fleet. And then they will know fear. I really need civilian, or not civilian, consumer goods. Alright, so we got this planet now. Oh, we're colonizing it. I'll take some time. Hmm. How's the uh, how's this plan doing? It's actually doing fine, to be honest. And yeah, of course, because the we necrophages are so slow at breeding, 
Actually, honestly, with Necrophages, you might as well just grab the Slow Breeder perk, to be honest. Because you're not going to grow your pumps anyways if there's another species on the planet. So why not just take it? It's fine. Mostly. I mean, so long as... like, I mean, I do have a planet that is going to have only Necrophages on it for a little while. But I could just say no to that, to be honest. And, like, just transfer one of the slaves over. Yeah. I feel like giving slow breeders a necrophage is not a bad idea. But, oh, well, I'm not going down genetic ascension, so... Whatever. The rubricator! Fun! I like the rubricator. Wait, where is it? Is that the rubricator? Where, where the hell's the rubricator at? Really? The rubricator is between me and that asshole? Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. I need to go claim that system before they do. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. I thought that the... Uh, that systems that just spawn in like this only ever have one connection point. I guess not. Because, yeah, this bastard can go in there from the fucking black hole. Well... Non aggression pack with the Lockin Mechanists. Why do you like me? Hmm. It might not be a bad idea to have an ally in this world. Especially an ally who is so savvy with technology. Hmm. You know what, Mechanists? I shall allow this union of friendship for now. But, in the future, I might be less willing. Hmm, let's see. I would like a... Where is that? Ah, I need to have a diplomat over there. Yes, where is the diplomat? I thought he was still giving shit to, the, uh, to our rival. Apparently not. Other research agreements. Oh, you whore. Oh, well. I will get that research agreement one way or another, Mechanists. You will give me your technology. There's nothing you can do about it. Hmm. More anchorages, perhaps. Might not be a bad idea. Because I have, what, one anchorage right now? Yes, although I don't have the building that can upgrade the anchorage, sadly. Yeah, so I just build more anchorages. I'm not scared of the enemy. Although it is very annoying that they have two ways into my space now. Hmm. Or, you know, I think I am going to build that spaceport upgrade after all. Now we're moving into the system. Um, uh, well actually... Yeah, there's a planet in that system. I suppose I could just... Well, no, because... That was changed, that shard does destroy the planet. Well, no, it doesn't destroy the planet, but it destroys the colony on the planet. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So wait, what am I going to really do once I get that area, then? That's a good question. Because I can't really do much with it, aside from just prevent the enemy from getting it. Hmm. Well, I guess just survey the system. Uh, and I guess I can start digging, I suppose. Digging is not the worst idea. Hmm. Alright, just keep going on. Alright, let's go ahead and just start filling up the places. Because, yeah, there's a big old bit of space that just isn't mine, even though it should be. Hmm. Well, unfortunately... I have to cut this video short, but I'll make up for it in the next video, hopefully, so long as that video also doesn't get cut off short, with making ads about 10 minutes longer. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time.